in the morning at the T-Rail Recreation Grounds and the show people are beginning to rouse themselves for another busy day. It's been a long time since the show grounds and paddocks of our country towns have seen the stir and bustle of the circus. But now they're on the road again, giving one-night stands, excitement and fun from Wangaray to Invercargill. This afternoon, they're booked for a show at Matamata, 50 miles away, and that means work and plenty of it. The job starts at the crack of dawn and it won't end until the big top's down after the last show at night. After all the heavy jobs are done, the elephants get a lift too, and then it's standing room only. The convoy's rolling out onto the open road again, leaving one showground for another. Everywhere, they're eagerly awaited by children of all ages. column arrives at the new grounds. Work starts again. What a life, this circus life. No sooner pack up and move than stop and unpack. And so it goes on. But it's in the blood of the circus folk. Would they like a nine to five job? Not on your life. That's for dull city slickers. It seems that somebody can lead a horse to water and make it drink. The site for the big top has been marked up. Pegs are driven in, poles are placed in position. Everybody's on the job, including the elephants, who lend a bit of weight on the main poles. Thousands of square feet of canvas are arranged in position and laced. This is organization on a military scale. Clowns, tent hands, tightrope walkers, the ringmaster, everybody has a job to do, and does it. Things get done smoothly. One final heave and the big top's up, ready for the show. But there's still plenty of work to be done. The lion tamer makes things a bit more comfortable for the lions after their journey. Practice, practice, and more practice is what it takes to make an artist. And you can't start too young. Circuses are traditionally family affairs. Almost all the people here are third-generation show folk, old Australian circus families. The gypsy way of living is gone, but its place has been taken by something much more solid, an orderly domestic life which is somehow miraculously achieved among the caravans and the one-night stands. It's a large family to feed, but Miss Soul finds time to run the eating department in between her duties as general circus organizer. And the food has to be good, too, to build up muscle and nerve for the daring and dangerous acts of the afternoon performance.
meantime, crowds start arriving. Excitement increases among the young people. Many of them will be seeing their first circus. With only a short time left and the circus tent filling rapidly, final touches are added to makeup and costume. Ringmaster St. Leon introduces a death-defying Dupree's act by Dimpy St. Leon. The key to success in a circus is non-stop variety at a terrific pace. The ring is never empty. As one act ends, other artists are in the ring keeping the show moving. The Ridgeways are on now with their amazing feats of balance. Here's that man Joe again, keeping the crowd on the edge of their seats as he limbers up for his back somersault on the tight wire. Charlie the Clown, who's also the electrician, tries his hand at another wiring job. You have to be versatile in a circus. This is the kid's big moment. The ringmaster calls for boys from the audience to come and assist in a breathtaking act. There's no shortage of keen starters either. Shirts off and line up ready for the big act. it wasn't quite what they expected, but for years to come, they'll be able to talk about the time they were in a real live circus act. And Grandma and Grandpa enjoyed it too. After what seems an incredibly short time, the final act is underway, and Dimpy and Joe swing round and round up in the dizzy heights of the big top. And round and round the countryside, the circus speeds on its way, taking its load of fun and excitement to the scattered communities all over New Zealand. 